Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I'm your humble host Picasso. Thanks for joining in. And today guys, we're going to be looking at a third party launcher for your Android device. I was scoping through the Play Store and looking for, you know, some new launchers, some new apps and stuff like that to try out. Let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at this launcher. I have my Mi Mix 2 here, which has become one of mine. I'm just giving it a little wipe down here. Become literally like my favorite device. I love this phone, the battery life, the storage, the camera, uh, the speed, the no lag, everything about this device I really love. And you guys know me, I'm always looking for some new things and new ways how to improve. I was going through the Play Store, as I mentioned, and I came across B4 Launcher. Of this launcher is to basically cut out all the other applications that you don't use you know or don't use that often just getting you down to these square basics okay so you have the option of course to place eight applications on the home screen and that's it that's it i actually never even check to see if i'm able to like place a different wallpaper or something like that um we'll get into that but uh this is what it is you have your applications. I am the one that actually uh, chose these apps. Okay, it does come with a bunch of preset apps which you can remove or replace. What I use the most, phone, messages, WhatsApp, Gmail, Chrome, YouTube Studios, photos, and camera. To be honest, these are the applications that I use the most. I could sw swap out uh, photos for Instagram, even Reddit, you know, but honestly, when it comes down to bare bones, these are the apps that I use the most. There are a couple other features uh, uh, to uh, this launcher, of course, but again, the premise is just to get down to bare bones, applications you use, cut out the use of other apps that you don't use often. And like I mentioned, these are what I use the most. So very simple, you can go ahead and long press on an application and you will be able to remove the application. So if I go ahead and remove photos like that, then I'm gonna have the option down here where you can see that little uh, plus sign there to add another application. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit add and then I'm going to put, uh, you know, like I was mentioning, let's go ahead and just put uh, Instagram. So I'll put Instagram, I'll go ahead and hit done. There it is. Now, if I want to change the order, I can just simply long press and just move it to where I want it to go. Simple as that, very simple, very basic, very minimalistic. And you guys know I love minimalism. Okay, now sw swiping over to the right, we are presented with the app drawer. The app drawer, now this portion here of the app drawer is for your recently used apps, okay? Which I do like. And then scrolling down, you have the rest of your applications. Now I do have a lot of applications on this device, which <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. You can see it there for yourself. You do have the search button here, tapping on it brings up the keyboard and you can search for your apps that way. If you have a lot of apps like me and you don't want to just scroll like that. So you can actually do that as well. Another feature that I really like about this launcher, swiping over to the left side of the screen, we have notifications. Now this is a filtered notifications. So basically you choose apps that you want to get notifications from and the other apps you will not get those notifications. So again, it's just bringing down to bare bones just the applications that you want to receive notifications from cutting out all the extra clutter you do have the option to uh, turn off filter notifications and just do not disturb which will come just block all applications okay all apps are being filtered i'm going to go ahead and keep it uh, to what i set and then you do have the option to of course swipe it away or you can just clear all okay so pretty cool there. I like the very, I, I just love the minimalistic look and feel to this launcher. Swiping back over to the app section, we have the settings button up here, and now we are able to look at some settings. Now within the settings here, you have the option, number one, to go to the system settings, okay? You also have the options here to turn, uh, select how you want your notifications to be filtered. Then, we have the background color. So like I mentioned earlier in the video, I, I didn't actually check to see if you could place a wallpaper like an image. So basically, no, you cannot. <laughs> you have background colors. Initially, it comes with this uh, Mirage color here, and it does tell you what the name of the color is. And then we have uh, Pine Tree. I, I just have it on Tuatara, I believe that's what it's called. You have uh, Tyrian Purple. You have Toledo. 
You have gray, uh, rosewood, maroon, metallic bronze, and it goes on. You have a couple. You have quite a, a bit of um, options there as well to choose from. I'm going to go back to... There's black. Okay, so I think these were... Yeah, these are further. This is what it actually comes down. Midnight blue is what the application uh, uh, comes with by default. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put it back to Tuatara because I like that it actually matches the lock screen wallpaper, which is basically just gray. Of course, it is dark, so you can't really see, but it is a gray lock screen uh, background. We have incognito mode, which is off. Now, turning it on, it does tell you here. Now, incognito mode, basically, it stops the tracking of your recently used apps and it hides previous app usage history. Okay, so that pertains to the uh, app drawer. I'll just leave that off. Then we also have clear recently used app history as well. You have the set default launcher uh, into it. Leave us a comment on the Play Store, which I will because I really do love this application. It's very nice. Share the before launcher, some privacy policies, and then a little bit of app information. There's their logo, the name, and the version. It's currently on 2.6.7. And that's pretty much it for before launcher i gotta say i'm feeling it a lot more than i initially was when i actually downloaded the app and initially started using it which is about two days ago and i was deciding whether or not i should make a video on it but just because i really 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 like this uh home screen launcher i decided i gotta share it with you guys again it's very minimalistic and it just feels nice and just just the clutter honestly even that with instagram there i'm gonna remove that and put back photos because again it's just bare bones it's just straight to the point this is what you want to use here we are don't worry about any other apps there actually is one more app that i actually will put here and i'm going to go ahead and yeah remove instagram i'm gonna remove instagram because the app i use a lot more than instagram actually is let's see if i can get to it here you know what instead of doing that Oh, they don't have the search there. Okay, so you can't search when you're placing applications on the home screen. Uh, gaming mode. So I'm going to go ahead and put gaming mode there, and I'm going to leave that at the bottom. So gaming mode, that's where I go in, and all of my games are optimized. Uh, certain settings pertaining to each game is also set, and this is where all of my games are, and I can launch them all from here with those settings. I believe I've done a video on gaming mode before, if not... Stay tuned, that's gonna be coming. I'm gonna check my video history and see if I've done that. But that's gonna wrap it up, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is B4 Launcher. Very, very, very cool launcher. I really do love it. So if you enjoyed, go ahead, leave a thumbs up. I'm really appreciated, guys. Thanks for all the love and support over the years. We're gonna continue Picasso Entertainment. We learn, teach, and entertain. As always, I'm your humblest Picasso. I'll see you in the next one. Peace, I'm out.